about Solana. You know, I haven't talked about Solana in a very long time. So let me give you an update on Solana. So Solana is right now at eighteen dollars and sixty nine cents. So looking at Solana, you know, this is a range that I'm very interested in. So, you know, I'm looking at a potential drop, you know, all the way down into, you know, this eleven dollars and fourteen dollar range. And I think this is where, you know, the most value is going to be. And from a long term outlook, you know, if you can get in, uh, you know, right down here, uh, even if Solana is not able you know, to get back to its all time high. Uh, but let's, you know, let's just assume that the project is still around, you know, in 2025. Even if we do get to like, you know, $150, right, for the sake of keeping things, you know, very simple. Uh, even if we do get to like $150, I mean, you're looking at, you know, in terms of returns, I mean, you're looking at, you know, somewhere around, you know, 900 percent, uh, 960 and 65 percent. You know, if you were to get in in this, you know, eleven dollars and fourteen dollar range, uh, of course, you know, in the short term, I think Solana is a project to I mean, you're taking on a lot of risk. And that's because, you know, fundamentally, uh, these guys are having a lot of challenge, uh, you know. There's always uh, there's always something with Solana. So, you know, fundamentally in the short term, you are taking on a lot of risk. Uh, but if we just focus on the technicals, I mean, this is where, you know, I think, you know, we're more likely to see uh, the price of Solana, you know, over the next uh, couple of weeks. It looks very bad. Uh, but if you actually think about it, you know, this would be very healthy uh, for Solana. So a nice pullback. You know, down to retest uh, this range right here. Uh, if we can stay above eleven dollars, then I think the next time we go up, uh, we are going to break out of this downtrend right here. Uh, you can see this downtrend. Uh, we got rejected around thirty-eight dollars. Uh, we got rejected at twenty-seven dollars. But if we can break above, you know, this range right here, you know, that could be the beginning of something, you know, very exciting. Because you know all of this right here, all right, if we can do something like this, you know all of this right here is going to be you know a support right here, so this is going to so this is going to support the price the next time we come back down, uh which is very bullish, of course, you know right now, you know I actually think it was a lot of easier you know to see that Solana was going to have a hard time. In this range right here, uh, you can see how much, you know, price action, you know, within twenty-seven dollars uh, all the way up to forty-six dollars, and also considering that this is a project that had a big rally from eight dollars, you know, all the way up to twenty uh, to twenty-seven dollars. In the short term, you know, this was never going to be sustainable, all right. And I think this is why, you know, if you look at the aftermath. You know, after a couple of weeks later, I think this is this is why we have this you know this big pullback, and of course you know you add you know the fact that we have you know all of this right here. Uh, you also add the fact that we uh, what else recently happened? Uh, something else big recently happened uh, that that had to do with crypto. The ninth right? best performer. Uh, of course, you know the Fed's coming out. And you know, making it very clear that the rates was going to continue to go up, uh, you know, more than initially anticipated. You know, very bearish for you know risk on assets. Uh, of course, the cryptocurrency market is going to be the first you know to take a hit. Uh, and here we are today. Uh, so this is Solana right here, guys. You know, eighteen dollars sixty-five cents. And I think we more if we continue to go down. I think we're more likely to come right down in this, you know, eleven dollars and fourteen dollar range. Uh, so keep your eyes on that. Uh, what else is here? What else is here? Uh, let's see what else is here. Uh, we recently talked about Ethereum, uh, so we don't have to, 
we don't have to look at ethereum uh here we are binance uh, no not binance our uh, cardano in a 32 cents not too bad uh, matic you know over a dollar matic is actually doing pretty good uh matic is no not matic excuse me uh cro is actually doing pretty good you know up six percent so maybe one of you know one of the big gainers uh vra up 12 percent uh, a nice little move well not too little actually uh v oh my gosh yeah this is nice beautiful uh but this right here shouldn't be a surprise uh this is a project that had a major drop you know over 60 percent so you know this is you know more likely a day cap bounce so in terms of where you know we more likely to get rejected you know i'm looking at you know right up here so you know after a massive 60 percent drop it absolutely would not surprise oops i mean that's a very big one uh but it wouldn't surprise me to see a 60 percent rally uh this i mean this right here to me looks like you know a potential uh head and shoulders pattern you have the left shoulder right here so this will be your right shoulder if we get rejected you know the next move will bring us you know all the way down into my range right here uh vra you know i'm looking to accumulate uh right down here you know this is my this is my buy range so if we do get a pullback if we do get another pullback and you know, i think i'm going to start a position uh i mean <sighs> Look, you look at the daily RSI came all the way down in the 20s. So it was way, way oversold. And you go down on the four hour. Way, way oversold. You know, RSI on the four hour was actually all the way down in the 16s, uh, which, of course, you know, is, it was extremely oversold. So not surprised, you know, to see this nice little pop. Right, but again, in the grand scheme of things, you know, this is really, you know, nothing more than uh, a day cap bounce. Uh, you know, rallies like this, you know, more often are going to rip your face, right? You know, very sharp, very big, but eventually, you know, eventually they are going to come to an end, you know, sooner or later, and you are going to see, you know, another move like this. You know, down to retest, you know, these areas right here. So that is VRA, VRA. Uh, I think uh, we have been live for, for a while right now, right? We've been live for a while right now. Oh, man. Yeah, definitely get your crypto off these exchanges, guys. It's not worth it. I mean, even Coinbase, it's not worth it. I mean, this thing right here is a hundred dollars. Let me see if I can open it. Actually, this is the the Nano S Plus, and I don't even think I paid a hundred dollars. Actually, I think I paid uh, well, somewhere around seventy nine. I think seventy nine. Yeah, these things like these things right here, guys. I hope you can see it. Okay. It's less than a couple hundred dollars. Get your get your crypto uh, get your crypto off these exchanges. It's definitely not worth it. It is not worth the risk. It is not worth the risk. Get get your crypto off centralized exchanges it is not worth the risk you know now your keys now your crypto it's very simple guys it's 2023 you know self-custody is more important than ever now all right so we just talked about vra uh let's see what else is out there uh we i mean we talked about so Coinbase, you know, Coinbase is one that I'm very bullish on. Uh, my average, I added onto my position, 
my average price right now is around uh, 55 or $53. So somewhere around here, basically.